I spent the past seven days surf fishing on the east coast of Florida. Yep, 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 yep. I do this every year on my family vacation, but this year's trip blew all the other ones out of the water. Oh gosh. Oh gosh, he's gonna spool me. I fished for every species I could possibly catch, and I filmed every single cast that was made. Now throughout this three-part series, you'll get to witness the highest of highs. Oh god. Oh, oh, oh. It's huge! Yeah! Yeah! And the lowest of lows. Are you okay? Oh, oh, hey. oh my gosh! This is huge! No! How? So guys, sit back and enjoy this series as I chase after any and every fish I can catch along the surf. What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Now as you can see, this is part one of a three part surf fishing series. I fish at the beach every year, but this was probably the best year I've had as far as filming and just success goes. So I'm super happy to be putting this together. Let's get into the first video. So day one, whenever I first got to the beach, the first thing I did was bought some shrimp, headed down to the beach and just had it on my smaller spinning rod. And this is what happened. It's not very far out there, but... <laughs> there we go. Oh. I don't have him, but he bit it though. Wow, that was fast. That's in the juice right there. After just getting a couple of bites but not catching anything, I had to go in for supper. So I went in and ate supper. As soon as I got done, I walked straight back out to the beach and continued to fish with shrimp. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to try to get out to where we were yeah, and just flip it out in front. So I'm gonna, I am going to walk through the sandbar. Oh, there's, let's see, that's a little whiting right there. I like our chances now that I'm feeling good. Oh. oh, I missed him. There it is. What? Biting it. Oh, well, that goes to show he was there. Oh, my. Gosh, I got something. It's definitely not big. Oh, come here. Nice little whitey. Keep him for shark bait. I mean, he's small, so yeah, I think so. Same, oh, God. Got him. He's not big. Look at him, he's in the waves. He's literally in the waves. Come here, boy. Another little whiting. Nah, this one's a, a little bit bigger, right? Yeah. Man, them circle. That's like a picture <laughs> last. Oh, look at him. <laughs> <laughs> See ya. Number two. Bless you. As it started to get darker, I decided it was finally time to shark fish. Now, in the title and the thumbnail, you'll see I was using a $10 rod. So let me just show you. So as you can see, this right here is a two-piece rod. I've got it broken down now, but it is an Ozark Trail surf fishing combo. Now I bought this in my first ever surf fishing video. It came with a reel on it, and for the rod, reel, and line, it was 20 bucks. 
I do have a new reel on it. I have this nicer pin reel, which I definitely need because the other reel was so crap. But the rod itself was literally a $10 Walmart rod. So yeah, I have this combo rigged up with just a similar leader to what I was fishing with shrimp with. I just had bigger hooks and I had two pieces of the fish that I had caught for bait. So yeah, guys, I started surf fishing, but also I continued to fish with the other rod in the meantime. And here's what happened. I think one of the baits came off. Yeah, what? I said, I think one of the baits came off. Guys, in these clips, the lighting isn't the best, but don't worry. In the future, the lighting will get better. I just didn't have my big GoPro light for these first few clips, but just stick with it. The content is still crazy. Have any slack? There's a fish. I don't know if I got him. I think I missed him. Might be something tiny on there. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, let's use, let's try that for bait maybe. For like a second. It's a little bit smaller too. It's got to be good bait. What if we catch something on that? It would be like huge. New bait. Don't know what kind of fish it is, but it might get munched. Hoping for a shark. Oh, oh. <laughs> I stepped on a crab. Oh, I stepped on a water bottle. There we go. Oh, it's a catfish. Yeah. yeah. Sea catfish. Yeah. Dang, that thing was pulling hard for how small he is. I guess it just because this is such a small rod. What a catch. Tiny, tiny catfish. And I said it was a big one. Ah. Uh, oh, I got him. It got to be another catfish. Circle hook, got him. I thought I had him missed at first. Oh, that's a whiting. Dang, we're tearing them up. They're tiny, but still pretty fun. Look at him. <laughs> I got him. something small I think he's on there might, might have came off oh it's a stinky catfish well wrap up day one with that see if you got hit by the end of that can you see that or by that it would not be good I mean it wouldn't like kill you but Oh, oh. So with the lighting, this right here was a little bit confusing. What had actually happened was I was holding the catfish in my hand, literally talking about how they can stab you. And then my shark rod fell over, came out of the pipe and started going in the water. So as I tried to throw the catfish down, he stuck me. And yeah, this was just so chaotic. Oh, oh, ow, I, oh, I got thin. Ouch. Oh. And nothing's even on there. Oh, that hurts. Oh, crap, dude. That's so much worse than a freshwater catfish. One just bent my hook out. We just had something huge. Are you okay? Oh, oh, babe. I'm okay. Dang, I don't want to stop fishing. That was huge. I cannot believe something just yanked that rod out and bent my hook though. Stinking catfish. Alright, so I'm going to be done with this rod. Let's go ahead and put it up. Alright, let's investigate what happened over here again. So this is the head right here. 
it looks to be perfectly intact i don't think it's been touched but this was where i had the piece of the body and not only is my bait gone but that strong strong hook has been out wow so we're gonna put on a new hook new bait and get it back out there all right guys we're finally back took me a while to clean out my hand and get re-rigged but here's what we got working with we got the head of this one fish with a stronger super super thick hook and then this is a piece of a whiting another new hook 80 pound braid to a steel leader to me this is a huge setup like i can't imagine something breaking this but we are in the ocean and i'm about to launch this thing as far as i can Oh, that's out there. Shark territory right there. All right. Get that weight to dig down into the sand. And now we wait. Can't let it get me this time. Oh, did you see that? Uh-oh. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> it's huge <laughs> no no it came off that was huge holy crap look at how tight that drag is and it was screaming i think something broke oh my gosh i want to see what happened i think it broke something Oh, good. Okay, hook didn't bend. This hook didn't bend. It just came off. That's good. My gear held up. Okay, that's good. Yeah. All right, we got to get it way out there. That's where they're at. Look at all the crabs. Ah. I'm feeling decent. I feel like I have a shot here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. See, yep. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is huge. No! How? what that was huge look at how uh, i guess i could tighten it a little bit that was actually insane like i couldn't i couldn't do anything i could barely get the rod out of the rod holder please tell me i still got my bait or at least one uh-oh this hook does look a little bent. Okay, so I just need more bait. I gotta try to catch something. All right, I have to catch something on this shrimp. I need bait, bad. They're destroying it. Maybe? Oh, I got him, yes, 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 yes. yes. Come here. What is it? I don't even care what it is. Oh yes, this is perfect. This thing's about to get munched by a shark. You can't make this up any better. I had a little feeling that's what it was biting because of how small it felt, but oh gosh. All right, there's one piece. Oh, that looks so juice. If those two little trashy piece of whitings got bit, oh, yeah. this has to get bit. Here we go, baby. It is game time. Let's so launch this thing out there. Hopefully wait about 30 seconds and then yank in a massive shark. My drag's so tight. I'm scared that that's too tight, but last time it got yanked. All right, we are in the game.
Yep. Yep. Oh yeah. He's on, baby. Oh! How does that keep happening? Oh man, I wanna cry. That sucks. <laughs> He's on, baby. Yep. He comes off. Stupid fish. I mean, that was big. Again. Oh. That was really big. Look at this crap. He dang near straight in that hook. And this is like a big, heavy saltwater hook. We're dealing with some fish. Not just some little tiny thing. We're dealing with some fish. Alright guys, so hopping into the second day of the trip, I had a very simple mission. I wanted to get revenge on the shark. So earlier that day, I actually went over to my favorite little tackle shop. The guy at the store was super awesome and he showed me what rig I needed to get. I got these new shark rigs, 170 pound leader, huge hook, and he also gave me some sliding weight. So I had the gear, I waited around to the evening, then I got back out there to get on some bait and get on some sharks. Got him. Oh! It's actually pulling a little bit. Oh, this might be bigger than a whiting. Oh, oh yeah, pompano baby. Ah, that'll use. That'll be a lot of bait right there. That might be all the bait I need tonight. Oh yeah. I'm hoping shark will eat pompano. I didn't use any yesterday, but we'll give it a whirl. Oh yeah. Oh, I missed him, dude. That was such a good bite. I think I missed him. Him. Okay. It's not huge, but uh, he's pulling a little bit. Okay. He's actually fighting it. I think it's another pompano. Oh, <gasps> baby shark. Yes, sir. That's cool. I've never caught a shark this small, but this might mean that the sharks are out. All right, buddy, let's get you back. First shark of the trip. Oh, uh, other way. Come on, buddy, figure it out. Figure it out. There we go. I'll take that. There we go. Something. It's not bad. Might be another shark. Dang, that was quick. What is that? Oh no. It's my worst nightmare. Stupid catfish. See ya. All right, one more shrimp and then it's time to shark fish, baby. I don't know how I feel about this tide though. It's a very weird tide. It's like, I have to walk through this little tidal pool which, I mean, there could be shark in here, but it's just so, it's not that deep. I have to walk through this shallow tidal pool, get to this sandbar, and then I'm casting it out a little bit farther. So right off the edge of this sandbar that I'm on now, is where I'm getting bit, and where I bet you I could catch a shark now. So yeah, this is my last shrimp for now. See if I can make something happen on it. All right, we're gonna try to get a shark. Ah. Oh, we can get something to bite. Oh God, that's gonna be such good bait. Oh God, it's bleeding. You're gonna take your bucket. All right, boys. I don't even know if you can see that because of how bright this light is, but 
pompano head, 170 pound steel leader, sliding weight. We're gonna try to get it way out there. But I really don't have that much line. It's like, I don't know, 200 yards or something. I honestly feel like I could get spooled if the right fish bites me. We're gonna get this thing out here too, so it's already gonna be far out. All right, we're on the sandbar. Gotta cast it right off the sandbar. All right. Yeah, I mean, I'm way out there. The suspense here is killer. Uh-oh, I'm getting bit. Yep, 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 yep. Stay hooked. Yes, yes. Uh-oh. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh, he's gonna spool me. No, he's not. Oh, my gosh. Oh, this is huge. I gotta get him back in, so. Oh, oh, we crap. Oh. Hey, guys, no! Oh, no, he broke. That was a huge shark. Oh my gosh. Did y'all see that? I had him. Well, I have 80 pound braid attached to the line. I mean, I, I was pulling him. I've made a little bit of progress. It's right here. Oh my. <laughs> He snapped that whole thing off. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> well, we got one more rig. They're biting. I guarantee you that thing. I mean, it had to be at least four feet. I know. I figured 80 pound braid would do the job, but I guess not. All right, new bait, new leader, new weight. It's revenge time. When I say that was a big shark. I hope you guys understand it. That was a big shark. I need to get this out there, but also don't want to. Oh no. No, my battery died. Ah, oh, that's booty. This light is significantly duller, which is also a little bit scary. My main GoPro light died, like the big LED one. So now I'm using this tiny little headlamp. Got one on my head and one beside the GoPro. If I can get my bait out there, dude, I can catch another shark. I know I can. I actually gave that one a fight. It's time to give another one a fight. All right, we out there a little bit. Every time one bites, it's like we get closer to catching him. We're working in the right direction. Uh-oh. Got him. Oh God, this is big. Oh, come on. Come on, baby. Come here. Yeah, come here. Come here. Oh, this one's not as big. Those head shakes are crazy though. Oh, I think I can get him. This one's not as big. He's coming. Nah, it's all right. Oh God. I want to know how big this one is because this is the smallest one by far. Look, look at that though. I just want to at least see it. The head shakes are crazy. Yeah, like he's he pulls so hard. Okay. Little guy. Oh, and this is the little one. Oh, yeah, this is just the little one. 
Y'all be careful. Oh my gosh, how am I even gonna grab this thing? <laughs> oh my gosh. Y'all be careful, please. Yeah! Yeah! Yeah, boy! Y'all can see that? The GoPro can't see crap. Oh, my light turned off. Trying to take a peek with me? Yeah. I'm about to drag him in. All right, let's release him. Yeah! <laughs> Guys, we finally did it. We caught a shark. The new rig was so clutch. I know I have the gear now, and man, it was just awesome to finally get that sucker up on the bank. On day three, I literally tried to recreate day two, but sadly, I failed. No sharks bit, but you know, it is what it is. Sometimes that just happens. Alrighty guys, that's all for part one of this series. If you liked it, let me know by dropping a like, comment, and subscribe down below. But other than that, I will see y'all in part two.